Hello, I'm from Seosan Duri Dental Clinic. I'm Dr. Park Jong Hyuk. I think prosthetics needs to be able to help you with mastication. In 2014, in the Dr. Kim Gi Sung's course, I participated as faculty, but I think I was more of a student. And based what I learned at that time, I actually accumulated experiences in many cases. And I think I'm, I'm now in position where I could share my know-how with others. So in this lecture, rather than uh, focusing on concepts, I will just show you honestly what I really do in the clinical setting. That will be more helpful in uh, your actual practice. Hello, again, I'm Dr. Park Jong-hyun. With uh, many people having implant that is aesthetics and deliver good mastication becomes uh, very important. As from surgery implant, and now everything can be finished uh, in one day, more accurate and safe uh, system have become more and more important. So today, I'm going to talk about understanding and configuring implant processes. So, what is the content I'm going to cover? In part 1, I'm going to first talk about implant prosthesis features and understanding implant prosthesis. So, as you can see here, implant uh, prosthetic restorations uh, comes in various indications, but if you have single tooth loss and do bridge, uh, you know, you, it could not be good for healthy ticks uh, nearby. So, if you have, uh, have to replace existing uh, bridge, then uh, already the prep was done, so I don't really uh, go for implant restorations. And also, if the root has a lot of curvature and there's less space for um, implant uh, delivery, then inevitably you have to go for a bridge. But rather than such a unique cases, the bone and soft tissue conditions are okay, and patient also want uh, implants rather than prepping, you know, healthy uh, teeth. So if you opt for implant restoration, again, you don't have to delete or prep healthy uh, adjacent teeth. And this was a case where I did immediate uh, placement. Initial conditions and through assessment after implant delivery, if the condition right, then you can use provisional or if the provision cannot be um, quickly co connected by your act uh, surface soy or using BA surface fixture of OSTEM, then uh, you could actually uh, reduce the treatment time through um, making things more uh, possible. So uh, in the anterior side, how to do um, early loading or uh, immediate loading, um, that will be covered more in the master course. But due to financial means, sometimes uh, people want still denture, and especially in Korea, dentures are covered by uh, health uh, insurance. Of course, it's an uh, option you have to consider. I recommend implant with the uh, sinus grafting, but he didn't uh, want to do grafting, so uh, he opted for denture, but he wasn't satisfied. So in the end, opted for implant uh, restoration. Two implants were placed and three unit uh, bridge was used for restoration. And up to two implants are covered by health insurance, so financial difference between dental implant was not that uh, large. As you can see from this panorama photo, uh, using casket, hydro lifting was done and then bone grafting. Thanks to casket, uh, sinus uh, grafting could be done uh, quickly, easily, and also safely. Patient. When it comes to sinus uh, grafting, he said he should not be, have been so worried and also said he should have just gone with the implant from the first go. Another issue with the denture is as you can see here, uh, it's related to aesthetics. Even if you create nice denture, uh, if there is a clasp, then aesthetic satisfaction level of course goes down. 
especially in the anterior denture, aesthetic satisfaction level goes down further. So using denture and then changing to implant like this patient, compared to patient that did not use denture, functionally aesthetically, satisfaction level actually uh, is much higher. After implant restoration, six months later, patient came back. Patient smiled very brightly and looked more healthy, and uh, he seems to be also mentally more stable. And this is uh, the times where you feel satisfaction uh, as a dentist. If you are just starting implant, this will be the cases that you will see first, like doing a case in the mandibular first molar side. It's because the bone uh, it, width is uh, sufficient, inestably can be secured with good bone quality. So in the center, you place implant and connect abutment with such a simple steps. You can deliver implant. So compared to prepping adjacent teeth and uh, delivering bridge, it's easier approach, uh, method. After uh, this is after completing the implant. So in the basic master course, I'm going to tell you more about the know-how and my actual uh, experience, uh, so that you will be able to learn how to do it yourself. Implant, when it comes to edentulous conditions, is all the more beneficial. For edentulous patient, just placing the two implants, his or her quality of life really goes up. For edentulous patient, using two implants, uh, retention could be secured. And patient quality of life actually uh, improved quite a lot. If you have the economic means and be able to place uh, multiple implant, then you could have mastication close to the natural teeth level. And complete denture, even if you make a good one, recovering a satisfactory mastication was not easy. And with the time, there was bone resorption. And of course, denture becomes more uncomfortable. And that is what happens in most cases. Oral hygiene is hard to maintain, and as you have customized abutment uh, now more, we don't use this type of anymore. But if you look back, the hybrid type that you used to use, thanks to implant for a long time, patients could uh, masticate very satisfactorily. So uh, in the indentional condition, again, uh, implant can improve quality of life of the patients. So in the master course, um, I'm going to teach you more about this. Next is understanding implant prosthesis. Implant, as you can see here, uh, has no uh, via bone connection, so there's almost no mobility. Uh, natural teeth that uh, moves, the crown uh, root ratio is important, but for implant, crown height space, the absolute crown length is more important. Crown width ratio, even if less than one to one, uh, most cases it's very stable in terms of function. And to improve a uh, ratio, risking damaging inferior alveolar nerve and try to place a longer implant is not something you have to do. Even if in this high uh, crown root ratio, uh, you can have uh, with less uh, Crustal tissue attachment, uh, SS uh, fixture could be uh, used uh, for such conditions. In the master course, I'm going to talk about fixtures that meet different uh, conditions, and you can learn more about that. So let's look at now about the structure of the implant prosthetics. The fixture uh, is uh, lit screwed with the abutment and then the crown is cemented. In the master course, um, creating the right abutment or selecting the right abutment 
and about men's shape, occlusion, and um, how to check that and make sure they're right. Uh, I'm going to talk more about in the master course. Abutment needs to have the right form and shape for um, deep stability and to uh, have the right uh, form. So in the master course, you will learn more about the abutment also. Prosthetics, uh, you have the screw type, cement type, and ER type. So all three types, uh, you have to choose the right one depending on the case. You cannot have uh, prosthetics uh, with just one type for all cases. On the um, anterior side, the screw hole, if it's in the labial position, it looks very not aesthetic. So cement type is inevitably going to be your choice. On the palatal side, like this, if you place like you have the screw hole position, it's not related to aesthetics. So you could create uh, prosthetics in screw type, and it's easy to remove. So if you need to repair, it's very easy to do. And if you place even palatally, two implants can be split. And if you create screw type prosthetics, then fixture abutment connection cannot really have a good passive fit. So in that case, ER type in the, uh, linking uh, the abutment, good for passive fit, and it's easy to remove. And again, in the master course, uh, I'll give you more detailed information. A lot of dentists still don't know whether to use hex or non-hex uh, very clearly sometimes. So if you use hex abutment, it's good for repositioning, but affects the fixture in the installation path, and it's very hard to connect. For non-hex abutment, advantage is that easy to connect, but it has the disadvantage on the repositioning. In the master course, hex and non-hex abutment uh, pros and cons will be discussed, and I believe uh, by taking that course, you'll be able to choose the right one for the case. Implant compared to denture or bridge prosthetics, it can uh, solve more problems and increase satisfaction level. So it's something you need to learn and the basic understanding can be gained by uh, taking the master course. Implant prosthetics. There are many different cases, so you need to uh, learn about those different cases and gain more experience and understanding. And I hope by listening to this, you have uh, more knowledge. Uh, if you have a good start, you have to have good finish. So by having good prosthetics, uh, I hope that you will have a satisfying result for you and your patients. Thank you for your attention.